Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back your lovely faces to another video here on the channel. Today we're going to take a look at something which is just mind blowing to me because seeing that video games are now being sold for over a million dollars is just mind blowing. I loved all, well, I love video games. Speaking of which, I'm actually trying to go streaming every single day for a video game from next week. I'm going to give it a go, see for a month, see how that goes. But, when Super Mario Brothers, an unopened version that is, of the 1985 classic, sold for $2 million just the other day. This is what we got. An open copy of Super Mario Brothers sells for a record 2 million million dollars. An anonymous buyer purchased the game through a collectible site. An anonymous buyer paid two million dollars for a never opened copy of Super Mario Brothers, according to collectible site Rally. First reported by the New York Times, the sale price of the 85 game broke a record that was set less than a month ago when a sealed copy of Super Mario 64 sold for 1.56 million at auction. This is just insane. Over the past year, the record for the most expensive video game has been broken numerous times. Let's just blow this up for you as well, people, so you can see what we're looking at on screen. There we go. Demand for childhood collectibles has remained hot. Last July, a copy of Super Mario Bros. went for 114000 at auction. In November, a copy of Super Mario 3 broke that record for $156,000 at auction. Then, <laughs> that record was smashed again in April when a copy of Super Mario Bros. went for $660,000. Followed in July by a copy of The Legend of Zelda. That sold for $870,000. While most of the records were broken by vintage games, the $2 million Super Mario Bros. sale went a slightly different route. Rally buys games and other collectibles like comic books and turns them into small companies that people can purchase shares in, like an investment. If someone makes an offer to buy the collectible, those investors vote whether to sell it. Rally bought the Super Mario game for $140,000 last April, the Times reported, and shareholders approved the sale to the anonymous collector. Well, obviously they were, because they went about... They bought it for $140,000 and they have, well, they sold for $2 million. It just, it times it by 20 of how much you bought it for. And that is just absolutely insane. When you think of it, you know, these video games, video games have been around since the 70s, you know. And obviously it was Pong and a few other, then it was, the, I can't remember the name of it, but the ball was at the bottom of the stick and you get the bricks, you know, or hit the bricks sort of thing which Steve Jobs actually did with uh, Wozniak. And it's just crazy that these are now going for that much money. Obviously, we've seen comic books been going for that kind of price now for the last decade, maybe last two or three decades. Where if you had the first issue of Superman, first issue of Batman, first issue of Spider-Man, these have all gone for over a million dollars. Nicolas Cage has bought the Superman comic God knows how many times. Same as the amazing uh, fantasy with the Spider-Man issue. And it's just crazy in my eyes that people are spending millions of dollars on video games. And like we saw there, you know, Super Mario 64, which came out in 95 or 96, I believe. And that is when, you know, it broke records. That sold for $1.5 million just last month. It's crazy. If you got any of these lying around, guys, and they're still in mint condition, fingers crossed that they are, boxes or whatever, see if you can get some money out of it, because unless you, know, unless you want to keep it for a keepsake or for a future uh, generation, you know, they can sell it on, be a lot more. But just seeing that this is how much they're going for, it makes me happy, for one, but it also makes me kind of sad, because I, I, had Super, I had those games. You know, I've had Super Mario, I've had Legends of Zelda. I've had all of these games, and I just played with them. You know, I used them. That's what they're for. But someone who bought that and kept it in a pristine box for all these years. But we're nearly 40 years on from it, you know? And this sold for $2 million. 
good luck to him, I say. That's what I think with that. This is only a short video because, you know, it's only a short little article, but I found it very interesting, and I thought people would like to see it. Especially Super Mario Brothers sold for $2 million. <sighs> As I said at the start of the video, from next week, I am going to be streaming every single day, 2 p.m. UK time till 4 p.m. UK time. I will be on the YouTube channel. I'm thinking to try and Twitch. We're not too sure. Going to see how that handles up and see if the PC can actually allow that. Because I do have an old PC now. I need to uh, upgrade in the next couple of months. But if you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.